Well, welcome back, everyone, to Sugar Pine Zoo. We're popping in here for just a little bit, guys. I really wanted to show off this awesome new mod that NDP made. It's insane what it does. So essentially, it is called Planet Zoo Plus Plus, and it does a lot of awesome, very awesome things. Not only does it give deep diving to animals that don't normally have it, it also upreses all the textures of all animals to be 2048 by 2048 textures for literally everything. Uh, in addition to that, it also optimizes new scenery to be very efficient on your hardware. And yeah, it's just a really awesome thing. So here we have our prairie dog habitat, nothing crazy. As you guys can tell, the prairie dogs have this beautiful, beautiful new texture now. It's incredibly HD and look how high definition that is. Oh my gosh, he's a madman. He even added some color variations, which came out incredibly well. We could pop down in here and see all of them kind of in their little hidey hole. Look at all them go. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, they look so good now. Like, Frontier did some good realism with the prairie dogs, but this makes them look ten times better. What else do we have? We have a lot of awesome animals in Sugar Pine. I really, really did love this. The sea lions too, guys. When I first saw the sea lions, I was blown away. But seeing them with this beautiful new texture, it's insane. They're not really doing much though. Maybe we could catch them deep diving or something. So we'll actually pop down over there. Man, I missed the zoo. It was so fun to put together. But there they go. Look at the sea lions swim. Now, they don't really have the same animations that they used to, but I feel like we can get used to that because look how crisp they look. Oh my gosh, just looking how the light reflects on them. It is so freaking fantastic how well that looks. I love that so much. And we also have our seals. I believe those were up as well. Unfortunately, the only one that wasn't up was the aardvark. But listen, no one even uses the aardvark anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Look at them go. Oh man, when we first got the seals, I was so happy about it. They're easily one of my favorite animals in the game. And I don't know, just seeing them in all HD gloriness, it's so perfect. I don't know how he was able to make the textures look that good. That is some magic modding behind that wizard over there, NDP. And what else do we have? We have a lot of awesome animals in here. Oh, probably our bears. Do we see them? Oh, there's a big old grizzly right there. He's kind of sitting down for a little bit though, so let me just move him a little bit. Oh man, Planet Zoo in there, bears. It's just crazy how many bears we have in this game. I'm surprised we don't have a spectacled bear yet, but listen, I think we could settle for these guys. Look how stunning they are now. Look at that fur, look at everything. Oh. These guys are looking mighty, mighty fine. Can you imagine coming to the zoo and just being at this viewing gallery right here and just looking in there and seeing that guy walk through there? Oh my god, that's so majestic. I love seeing that. Is he going to play with the bobbin? He was playing with the bobbin. Oh my god, that is so cute. So I'm not sure if this mod is back up yet. I know NDP temporarily took it down just for a little bit of refactoring work just to make sure that everything flows nicely in it. But I think he should be able to put it up relatively soon once he gets something else done for himself. But look at the cougar. Oh man, I don't know what's happening with the texture there. It's a little bit less blurry, but you know, what can you do? Listen, it makes all the other animals look so fine. So who can really complain? Oh, we gotta check out the gators. Already the gators were some of my favorite animals, but seeing them in this is incredible. I'm so impressed with how well these guys look. Look at them go. I, the gators are so cool. They're so lazy. I love them. I really just love how they just sit there. Oh, and there he goes. See you later, alligator. Hey, hey. And what else do we have in here? Oh, we have the little guy in here. Oh uh, yeah, so I remember I built this interior. I'm not really a big interior kind of guy, but this one was really fun to build. I can't wait to show off the scenery as well. That's going to be awesome. So if you guys can't tell, the scenery, it all seems the same over here, but it only works for newly placed down scenery. That is something to kind of keep in mind when you do load into maps like this. Uh, if you're trying to load into like your big project, it won't optimize it right away. And our polar bears, oh man. They're zooming right now. 
He's really schmoovin. Aw, oh, look at the bears just swim around. That is so cool. The polar bears are so majestic when they go like that. And even, like, the minor fur variations with them, it looks so good for these guys. Oh, he made a turn. But we should probably talk about the props, all right? So, NDP went through and he made sure to optimize all the base game props. So, if we look over here for, I don't know, let's say the... I don't know, India pack? India probably works well. And of course, it's Nyx. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking for that one. I'm looking for the Indian theme. Thank you very much. But yeah, all these models are now super optimized. And even like all these, they're super low poly now, but they don't lose any of the detail. So you get these beautiful props. Even the facades are wonderfully optimized. Even the flowers... Even the pots, which are actually very high poly, are so much better now. I think even the Mecharoo, which is originally a very, very high poly model, it's super optimized right now. So it's you can place them all over and it won't really affect your game all that much. So that's a really awesome feature to have. But that's essentially it. It gives deep diving to certain animals as well. So let's just say, for example, you want, I don't know, what's an uh, animal that can't normally deep dive? African buffalo? Let's go for it. If we plop one of these guys down in here, they should be able to deep dive once we actually do plop them in the exhibit. I miss this little area. Gosh, this zoo was so fun to put together. It was such a wonderful little project. I'm so happy it's done. But I kind of do miss building in it, you know? Maybe later down the line we could actually get back to it and kind of work our way out there. I know you guys probably watch Rudy Renkamil and seeing him do like the Yosemite reworks, it's really inspiring me to kind of expand into this area. Maybe we could kind of do like a Sonoran Desert kind of area with some mods. That would be a really awesome thing to have. But I don't know, I'm pretty happy with how we did this all modless. It was very cool how well that came out. Look at the polar bear schmoove in. I love him. He's such a good little nugget. Okay, where is our buffalo? He should be on his way, right? Maybe he got stuck somewhere. Hold on. We gotta find him. Is he en route? Yeah, he's en route. We gotta watch this all take place. But, I don't know. How are you guys doing? How are you guys enjoying this mod? If you did catch it... Um, I know this was causing quite a stir in the community, NDP was hyping this up for a while, and oh my gosh, did it pay off. Just the way that the game is optimized now, and just how beautiful these animals look, it turned out so wonderfully. And there we go, look at that HD African buffalo, that is stunning. We gotta actually entice him to go deep diving, because that's something we definitely have to see. All right, let's see this. You gotta go deep diving for us, buddy. I know how much African buffaloes love their water, so we gotta see this come into play. Okay, I, I guess he's not deep diving, but he is swimming pretty good. And he looks super crisp, too, which is very amazing to have. But, you know what? It's fine. You guys can probably try this for yourself. If it's not uploaded just yet, definitely do keep your eyes peeled on the Nexus for this really awesome mod. It's so incredible, guys. Take my word for it. It's probably mod of the year at right now so far. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Is that one of the doll sheeps? Yeah, it is. I, you know, you could probably tell it's a doll sheep from, you know, its horns and stuff and its coat. But, I don't know. I'm just trying to be extra careful over here look at him go oh man that's wild but all that being said thank you going yeah thank you guys so much for watching definitely do check this mod out on the nexus if you haven't already and we can end it with our sea lines oh my gosh they always move so gracefully yeah let's end it right there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days Bye bye now